Hi, Scorpio. I'm Sade from Blue Alley's Tarot. I'm here to do your December love reading for the month. We're going to take a look at um, how your person's feeling, how you're feeling about the connection, and the um, possible likely final outcome for this month. Also, can you please like, share, and subscribe uh, to the video? Keep in mind that it's just a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate, please check your moon and rising sign. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, there's two ways to do it. You can either click the link in the description box below, which will take you to my website, or you can shoot me an email and book it that way as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of December? What messages? Do, they're just flying out everywhere. Okay. So it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So maybe if you are trying to start something new with someone, it's saying take your time with it. Or maybe that could be something with your career. I'm not sure. Uh, we would have to pull some tarot messages. Then it says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So yeah, that kind of goes with the wait card. Like, do not... Put too much of yourself into someone else. Focus on yourself and your goals and whatever else you have going on. And just let whatever happens happen naturally. Then it says romance. Keep an arrow strikes. So yeah, you're probably going to have the romance that you want. Um, but you're really going to have to take your time with it. So let's pull some oracle messages and see what your person may have to say. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So this may be what you want to say to your person. And I just looked at the time and it says 222. So that's the angel number. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio from their person for the month of December? What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know from their person? So it says, holding back, I should have expressed myself better. So maybe someone... Um, wasn't really communicating with you the way they should have. So you, maybe you were unsure of where this um, connection was going or how they felt about you. Then it says ego. I let my pride get in the way of air connection. So maybe uh, they allow their ego to make them hold back from expressing their true feelings for you. Then it says new chapter. I'm trying to move on. So maybe one of you are trying to move on from the other or you may be trying to move on from whatever conflict you two were going through and start a new chapter with one another. But let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see what's going on. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of December? What messages do you have for Scorpio for the month of December? Please give clear, accurate messages. I'm not going to take reversals, um, but I will clarify the cards. So you receive the Ten of Cups, um, the Strength card, and the Eight of Cups. The signs that you could be dealing with are Cancer, Leo, and Cancer again. So with this Ten of Cups, 
This is my blended family card. Uh, this is a relationship that you get in when you're emotionally balanced. It's like you know what you want out of life um, and you're marrying for love. For some of you, this could be your second marriage. It doesn't have to be or it could be your person's second marriage because maybe the first marriage wasn't really based on love. It was based on other things. You married for other things. But the second marriage with the blending um, family card, this, this basically means this is your soulmate. And when this appears, things will start to go very well in your favor in your relationship. Then you have the strength card. So this basically means persevering. So you're persevering from um, whatever issues you two are going through, um, which I feel like maybe it's because someone was pulling back. Because this card also means that someone is holding back or someone wants to work on a relationship. So I feel like your person probably was holding back how they truly felt about you um, while you probably wanted more. So... This just lets me know that you two will overcome that. Um, it's just like you have to get on the same page at this point and uh, drop the ego. <clears throat> now, with the Eight of Cups, this lets me know that <coughs> someone um, is walking away from something they put in work, they put work into. It could be just a temporary separation. It's like emotional withdrawal. Someone is trying to detach, and like I said, I feel like someone is trying to detach because. You're unsure of how your person really feels about you because they don't never really express themselves to you like they should. <clears throat> so, and remember, we have new chapter, I am moving on. And then this says, holding back, I should express myself better. So, yeah, I feel like you're probably trying to detach from this person because you're tired of wondering where's this connection going? How do you feel about me? I know that I love you. I know that I'm in a place where I'm open to love and open to give love and I want to become a blended family. But you're tired of your person keep holding back and um, not really communicating with you properly. So let's clarify these cards to see exactly what is going on. Spirit, can you clarify this Ten of Cups for Scorpio? Oops, too many cards. Clarify the strength card for Scorpio. Why is the strength card here, Spirit? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, what is the final likely outcome? For Scorpio, whoa, hold up. What is the final likely outcome for Scorpio and their person? Okay, so you have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Judgment, and for the likely outcome, you have the Eight of Wands. The signs that you could be dealing with are Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, and Scorpio, or Sagittarius. Or like I said, that could be your moon arising or your person's sun moon arising. So for the Seven of Swords, this represents sneaky and deception or strategizing. This is also meaning detachment. So someone is trying to strategize how to detach their feelings from this connection or just detach all together. Um, and I think, like I said, that's because you're, you're just so sick of like the break crumbing. I believe that your person probably break from you because they will not really let you know how they feel about you. Um, so I think that was the issue. However, because you have this 10 of cups, this lets me know that you are really struggling with deciding whether or not you want to detach or not. Because you really want um, the happily ever after. You want a committed monogamous relationship. You love this person. You feel like this person is your soulmate. And you want to get to that point with them. But you just don't know how to do it until, you know, they learn to how, until they learn to openly communicate with you. And I feel like you two will eventually get there because you received the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is peaceful energy. It represents balance. So it's moving from turbul turbulence to positivity. So um, I do feel like you and your person will get to a better place. I do feel like the, um, the communication will pick up soon. 
Um, Because this card could also mean someone leaving their wife or husband or their baby mother or baby father, whoever, to go be with uh, their person, which would be you. And this is my reconciliation card. So this lets me know that you two will eventually reconnect and remember you received this romance card. Um, but they want, Spirit wants you to not rush it, to take your time and let it run its course. So maybe your person is working on themselves. They're trying to heal. They're trying to get into a more peaceful energy so they can come at you properly. So the judgment card go, kind of goes back to what I was saying, how um, you're avoiding making a decision about the relationship, but this is because of self-doubt. So it's like, if you walk away and detach completely, it's, you're going to always have in the back of your mind, what if? What if they would have got it together? What if this would have worked out? What if this person really is my ten of cups and we would have had a happily ever after? Or <clears throat> it's, okay, but what if I stay and I'm still unhappy? What if they still don't communicate? What if I'm still second guessing whether they love me or not? So it's like you're so confused. But no matter um, whether the just whether the decision is about the relationship moving forward or ending, it is a decision that needs to be made because you can't really prolong it because, you know, you have to work on yourself as well. So you don't want to hold on to something that you feel may not be worth holding on to or you may not want to let go of something that could possibly get you to Ten of Cups. So I feel like you need to do some self-reflection and really figure out what it is that you want. And you need to communicate this with your person because I feel like communication is part of you guys' problem. <clears throat> now with your final likely outcome card you receive the eight of wands this represents um online communication like texting or dm so if you're wondering if your person will text you or send you a dm the answer is yes they will reach out to you um they'll they'll send some type of message wanting to talk they want to communicate with you which is a good thing because that's a good start for you too now for career, um, this lets me know that if any of you are thinking about starting an online business, go ahead and do it because it will take off. This is a yes that it will take off. So go ahead and start that online business. Um, and you can expect to receive a text from your person. Um, for some of you, I know this sounds crazy, but with the strength card, it says this represents like August. I don't think it'll be that long, but for some of you, it may be. Um, it could be eight days for some of you because of the eight of wands. Um, let's see. I'm getting a whole. I'm getting different time frames for a lot of different people, and I guess depending on who all is watching this. So it can be between seven to ten weeks for some. Um, Let's see, eight to ten months. So yeah, about Leo season. Um, I don't know, but it could be sooner. You never know. But this definitely see shows me that you know you two we will reconnect. There will be communication. Um, and eventually you will get to this ten of cups. So let's go ahead and get some more messages from your person and see what they would like to say. Here, what other messages? Do you have for Scorpio for the month of December? So it says confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. So that's basically everything that I've been saying. It's a lot of confusion in this connection because of the lack of communication. Then it says sabotage. I messed up the good things in my life sometimes. So your person is aware that they messed up. Because um, remember, you also had ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So they realize that they sometimes self-sabotage. <clears throat> but then it says, men, I want to fix our connection. So that goes with um, the Six of Swords, Reconciliation card, the Eight of Wands, meaning um, they're going to reach out to you either dm or a text message and let's just get some final messages from another deck and see what else is going on spirit what messages do you have for scorpio for the month of december what messages do you have for scorpio for the month of december spirit
Please give clear, accurate messages. So it said, you don't know how hard it was to let go. So I'm assuming whoever was holding back or pull back their energy, it was really hard for them to kind of let go of this connection or not you possess their feelings for you openly and honest. Then it says, I know that I crossed the line with you. So maybe um, your, your person know that they probably feel like it was a lot of game playing on their part. And they know that they crossed that line. They're, they're aware of their actions. And that goes with that sabotage card. So they're, they're aware that they sabotage this connection. Then it says, I don't react when people mention you. So when your name comes up, your person tries to act like they're unbothered. When really their ears are just like dinging, dinging, dinging. Like, oh my God, what are they saying about my Scorpio? What is my Scorpio up to? Oh my God, I really love my Scorpio. They just put on a facade like, you know, they don't care, but they really do. And then the last one says, I love you. So your person definitely loves you. So this goes back to the soulmate card, the Ten of Cup, my blended family card. So your person wants you to know that they truly, truly love you. So yeah, I definitely see a reconciliation. Um, it's just going to take some time because remember with this Oracle card, it says it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So your, so your spirit guides want you to solely focus on yourself. Um, do some self-healing, focus on self-love, and then this will all work itself out in the end. So Scorpio, I really hope that this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below and let me know if this is your story. If you would like to book a personal reading, please click the link in the bio or shoot me an email, um, and I'll talk to you next week.